Hi guys, so we're taking you on our trip staycation to Grand Palladium, so stay tuned. <music> Or not. Um, we got stopped by the police just because we were not even speeding. So we're back on the road, on the way. We are near there, and yeah. So we got lost again. Lucky that they had signs, so we kind of just read them, and then we are now back on the road, and we are going to try to find the entrance. That wasn't so bad we're here now so we're gonna unpack we have to sanitize at the entrance covid measures enforced social distancing and everything as well as temperature checks we got our ban quite quickly and we are moving on to our room we have to take a bell hop all the way to the room because it's quite a bit of walking from the hotel to the room but best believe it's a nice view right it's a nice view you see he's doubling as a little tour guide so he's showing us around the place telling us what is where and how we can get there and all that jazz i wasn't listening because i was just taking in the view so we finally reached the room i'm gonna give you a little tour of the bathroom first this is by order of the videos in my phone that's the bathroom shower you have the toilet in the side you have the sink and of course the main attraction so we went outside we didn't waste any time we of course looked at the map first because <laughs> so we started walking we decided that you know we're gonna do some sightseeing and we saw this cute little halloween setup because we went in october and they had quite a bit of activities for halloween so we made it back to the main entrance which is downstairs the lobby like i said we didn't waste any time we found our way to the pool because we know that was where the jerk hut was and we found it look at that look at that oh take me back to some good times i had to get my first cocktail which was the reggae something of the sort but it tasted really good moving on to the food people we ate short chicken for the most of the time and we played some bingo you know then we went to look at the sports bar which was really a nice setup you know it had a great sportsy vibe of course because it's a sports bar but yeah we went to the pool we spent the whole time at the pool i kid you not so it was still friday so we went back to the room because you know we just ate quite a bit so i decided to do like a room tour it's not that detailed but you know you get the gist of it you have the king size bed and then you go to a little sitting area on the side which leads out into the balcony i like to do the design of the room because it was like just quaint it wasn't too extravagant but you know you got a point across and you felt like a home away from home we're going to get some more food so we decided to walk it off because we weren't ready for all of that food that we were gonna eat we looked at the asian restaurant we looked at the indian and we looked at the italian those were the ones that were open and we decided to go to the asian cuisine which was the best one of all of them i kid you not so we started off with appetizers i took the sushi because i said you know you can't go wrong with sushi can you can you go wrong with sushi <laughs> but there are quite a bit of things on the menu and you know cocktails have to run <laughs> while you're on vacation so first appetizer was the chicken spring rolls and then we went into the sushi mind you they kind of do the whole serving size was a bit sparring but the thing is that they were trying to just you know minimize the level of waste that people do at hotels um yeah so i had a main course don't remember what it is but it looked great don't it looked great and i also ordered sweet and sour chicken this chef made this thing with love like to the point where i followed him on instagram look at that <sighs> i am 
was watering and just thinking about it again like oh my gracious lord i couldn't even talk you see i couldn't even talk <laughs> no shame i had to take the bell hop back to my room because i couldn't even walk so moving on to the next day this is saturday i am looking like a whole glow stick because sun kissed and bare things i'm ready to eat whatever is offered today <laughs> ready ready where's the bell hop so we went to the Negril suite for breakfast this was the only one that was open at the time so you know dress code enforced covid measures enforced temperature check and all that thing now we were going to be seated because you know there was a buffet still but then the servers had to you know come out and serve us in our plates we couldn't go and touch and take up and put down like we normally do at hotels so that was just a difference but you know they had a wide range of pastries they had a wide range of um different menu options for everybody so they weren't short on anything that you could possibly want of course for the first time i always go for the continental breakfast which is pancake and eggs because you really can't go wrong with that can you like <laughs> i don't really do just um hoteliers and jamaican breakfast but yeah i went with the eggs i put bacon and tomatoes and veggies in there i asked for a little bit of jamaican seasoning because the guy was literally wasn't even going to put salt in there so i said you know give me some jamaican look at that oh, so moving on we are going to go to the pool we are traveling now because you know i have to change i always don't get prepared for anything by the way, do you see that I'm walking? I'm walking back to my room because I decided that I am going to get this weight off and trick my body into thinking that I did not just eat my body weight in breakfast. <laughs> so I was walking back to the room and I saw the look of amazement because look at that. Look at that. See, I think Lucy gets, well, Lu Negril and Lucy, is it that? They get the gold star on beautiful beaches wow wow just wow <laughs> so going back to the room i didn't even realize that this was such a long walk but eventually we reached and we changed off and got ready for the beach so look at me talking the way like i'm going to the beach i'm really not going to the beach i'm going to the pool one stop driver <laughs> So the pool was stone throw away from the room, so I just decided to walk and lo and behold, look at this sight. Whew. Of course I have to get a cocktail to get in the mood. I'm joking. <laughs> but look at that. Look at the clearness of the pool. Moving on, I don't even know what I'm talking about right here, but let's listen. I'm so ready to jump in and just enjoy the day because the Grand Palladium is doing the most and I love it. Did I mention we met some really nice people? Their parents are from the Caribbean, so of course they gravitated towards us. Listen, we had shots, shots on top of shots, and yeah, YOLO. Come say YOLO with me. It was Johnny Walker and my god it went through me like fire going through a hole but yeah we we enjoyed <laughs> don't drink and drive kids guess what <laughs> guess what <laughs> guess what guess what guess what mad hold on mad sir, sir, you're, i you're am dying <laughs> you're in jamaica no clock is a bad one here <laughs> what am I getting myself into? We're on the third round of shots. But YOLO! <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying YOLO because I am a whole lightweight. Like, I couldn't even stand up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at her. <laughs> like, she was. Oh, God. <laughs> I am <applaud. laughs> Shot, 
so glad that was over. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm here talking about how great the pool was. It was really nice on the count of we spent a whole day in the pool. And yeah, we had shots on top of shots. And then look at me, just look at me. So I decided that I'm gonna sit down by myself and sober up a little bit. Yeah. I've been in the pool for a couple hours now. <laughs> like my fingers are prunes. But I'm really, really enjoying myself. <sighs> if you're looking for a relaxing time, if you're looking for a hotel that has COVID precautions, they are really, really secluded. They don't really have many persons in the hotel for a for a place that has over a thousand rooms you don't have to worry fortunately it's a it's a bit of sweet thing because you know they have a capacity of 30 they are severely under occupancy but at the same time it's a plus for you especially if you're looking for a hotel okay let me help my little self out right so basically i'm saying if you're looking for a hotel that practices social distancing and all that great stuff that looks like you know you can enjoy yourself while enjoying yourself yeah this is the place so we got a lunch we decided to go to blue lagoon because you know that was the only place open for lunch at the time that we got out of the pool yeah they have a wide variety of stuff i decided that i was going to go the sweet and sour route because you can't go wrong with sweet and sour chicken and white rice but for some strange reason you see what i'm talking about look at the rice like i wouldn't even give my grandmother this my gracious lord i don't know where they got the rice from because it was not jamaica and then the sweet and sour chicken only looks great on the outside because I was very disappointed. I'm not even going to talk when I put it down on the table and take a picture of it and then look into the abyss of the pool. I am upset. Looks into the abyss. Hi there little bird. Hi. So they were also teaching people how to do the Michael Jackson choreographed dance for Thrillo. And did I mention we witnessed a wedding that lasted like 10 minutes. So yeah, we are going to, I'm not sure which day this is, but I think we're going to the beach yet again. Um, we actually jumped on the bellhop. It was on the other side of the property, but look at that view. Look at that view! We didn't even get to go in. <laughs> so we went back to the property and we saw them setting up for Halloween. And I just decided that I'm gonna take a little break and sit by the main beach and yeah, take in this view. The view watching didn't take long because I decided to head back to the pool. <laughs> Like, I don't know what it is, but yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying right here. Let's listen. At the Negril restaurant, it was really good. Um, so I'm doing a recap on top of the recap that I just did. So let's just fast forward this, all right? <laughs> The fact that I'm still at the pool, something is fundamentally wrong or right with the hotel because that pool was the main attraction. So shower and then we are off again to eat. Like, oh my God, it was a thing. Um, we decided to walk again because, you know, get the fitness up and get the workout going. But every time we decide to walk, I say I'm never doing it again and I do it again. So we are going to sanitize once again and move on to El Dorado. It was a steakhouse of the whole hotel and I think it was a close second to the Asian restaurant. 
do 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 we are walking we are walking we are walking you know social distancing so they have to space out people properly and finally we no finally we reach our destination so we didn't even look at those <laughs> this is the menu i ordered the shrimp as appetizer and then main course steak we interrupt this broadcast to confirm that they do sanitize moving on look at that did i get a peek come out again as i was saying the shrimp was so succulent and well made and then the main course steak the oh this is really free like oh the dessert was icing on the cake and i literally fell asleep right then and there like woof you see that party couldn't even got it it was a figment of my imagination but she was ready so moving on to the next day this is sunday sunday i think it was sunday but anyway i'm waking up all right yeah so i'm gonna make my way making my try to the bathroom so yeah we're gonna get ready right about now so that we can go and eat more remember to brush your teeth because you know you're gonna be so distracted and <laughs> not <laughs> i'm joking brush your teeth guys this is a public service announcement and i am half ready look at me looking in the mirror like i look cute <laughs> smile don't i am out and stunting ready to eat so <laughs> look at the food once again i think the most of this video is about me showcasing the food that they have but at the end of the day i went with a bit of everything could i eat everything no but it looked cute on my plate and we are gonna go again to the pool as much as me talking this is my last day i got nothing else to say stop chat child stop chat i don't want to leave me neither sis me neither but now let's get some coconut and we are again getting food this is the last meal that we had of course we had to go all out and the everything tasted good this was from the sports bar ah i'm not a cute eater oh my god look at that burger <laughs> and as we get cut out of grand palladium's life i just want to say that we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves and heading back to kingston thinking about the next time we are going to a hotel so thanks guys